Force push. Bam! Let's play! <laughs> Let's try this out. All right, so here I am, I'm Fudini. I'm gonna guess that that is the goal. I need 10 gems. Let's go get 10 gems. All right, let, whoa, 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 whoa. First lesson of the level is uh, green will hurt you. Oh no, oh no, okay. All right, we're all right. Um, I just need to make sure not to, whoa, not to hit green and not to hit lasers. And I'll be fine. I need a gem. Okay, so I'm gonna go up here. Okay, this is hard, I'm gonna get it. Oh no, okay, okay, Whew. I'm gonna closely go through this lava. I'm gonna get this, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, oh no, that's not good. Okay, so these bricks are gonna force push me away. I have one heart left, so let's try and get back without getting hurt. Now I have one gem, so I can go over here. Whoa, a heart, nice. No gems though. So it looks like I'm gonna have to go past these laser dudes to get to the next gem. Let's go. Jump, 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 jump. That's nice, that's nice. Over here, I need six. All right, let's just run for it. Oh, alrighty, and go. Okay, I need eight gems for that. I'm still at only one gem, guys. This is, no, okay, whew, whew. Oh no. Oh no, okay, so I have one heart left. That's not fun. I have one heart left and uh, I need to get some more gems. All right, if I remember correctly, these guys will push me upwards. Yeah! Oh no, I need to get that gem in the top left-hand corner and I'm gonna jump, jump! Yes, I got it! All right, I got three gems. All right, so let's go back over. I didn't go to this little clock area. All right. I don't want this level to clean my clocks. Uh oh. Oh, whoa! Oh. You know what? This is this is hard. I I need to remix this and see how they did that. So I'm gonna be remixing the project, and here it is in edit mode. That's pretty cool. We got our tires. Here's the part that I didn't get to. I didn't get past these blocks. Oh, there's flying carpets. That would have been hard. There's a gem up there. There's a gem over there. There's just gems everywhere. And this door, let me read out this code. This code says, when the player bumps, if number of gems is equal to 10, open the door, right? So that's how doors work. It, it checks, do you have the right amount of gems to enter? And then if so, it opens. You can make anything a win condition if it has this little star in the bottom left-hand corner. You just drag and drop it into the coding tray. And then once you hit it, you'll win the game. So this door, it's greater than zero. This was cool. So this little block here, it has when touched by anything, do a force push. Now force push, let's demo that out. Force push. push. Bam! One. It'll push things away from it. And so that's why every time I was hitting those blocks, I was being propelled up into the air because it was pushing me up into the air. Wow, this was an insane level. There's a lot going on here. I'm gonna do a little remix here so I can win the game. We're gonna go to the gems over here. I'm gonna pop a gem over here and say, when you hit this gem, add 10 to your gem counts. And that's all the modifications I need. I think this level is easy enough for me to play. All right, we need 10 to get in the door. I've eased up this level just a little bit. Gonna get my gems and open the door and win the game. All right, kids. If you wanna figure out how a level works, you can go and you can remix it. You can see how the code works. And then if you want to be able to win the game, you can go in and edit it and make it a little bit easier if you need to, to win the game. I might've made it a little bit too easy. If you win the game in this way, it's not cheating, it's remixing, but you still haven't won the original game. Bragging rights. Maybe I don't got those yet. That was Hide Mystery Gems by Sparks Fickle Pickle. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe down below.